guys. Just arrived in Savannah get Lao today, earlier this morning. Had to take a little quick nap though. Uh, just woke up, it's about two o'clock right now. Uh, took a flight from Vientiane. <clears throat> flight was about an hour, 10 minutes, <clears throat> not too long. Nice easy flight, quick one. Uh, going through the airport was pretty simple. <clears throat> but now I'm here, um, where the town that my dad is actually born. Oh, whoops, that's a giant bug. Uh, anyways, this is the town that my dad is born, and uh, I am stay. I came in, checked in to my. I don't know what you would call this, but it's called. So, <clears throat> hold on one second. I want to make sure I'm saying this right. I booked it on Booking.com, <clears throat> and it's called <sighs> bugs. Bugs everywhere. Uh, Sala Tongyon Guest House <clears throat> on Booking.com. I'm staying here two, two nights and it was $20 US, so about $10 a night. But let me show you guys the place. Um, it's actually pretty cool. Uh, let's, let's walk in. This here is the place. Here's what it's called. But uh, <clears throat> when I checked in, I spoke with the woman that runs the place, and she basically there she is. There's the woman that runs the place. She's the sweetest. <laughs> she's the sweetest woman you will ever run into in your life. <laughs> but um, as I checked in, I had uh, about a 45 minute conversation with her. Um, this one here is actually my room, um, and I think they have five five little huts here. But basically. <clears throat> Um, she said that she wanted to have the place give you that like rice patty hut feel and you really do get that feeling oh look they got some chickens hanging around here but yeah look at the place it's pretty cool it's definitely different from the hostel life nice and quiet peaceful If you guys are ever in Savannah, get I do recommend coming here. Really nice place. Feels it feels like you're in the countryside. I mean, that's basically that's basically how she said she wanted to <coughs> have the place, design the place, and have the place feel like make you feel like you're in the countryside. But uh, you know what? Let me go show you. Let me go show you guys my room and what it looks like. Feels like Lao. Here's my bathroom. So yeah, I actually, I actually like the place. It's different. It's uh different, but um. Anyways, my cousin is on the way. Um, I met her. I met her this morning at the airport, but my cousin is on the way to pick me up, uh, and we're gonna go eat. Um, this was today was actually the first time I met her uh, And this is like my actual real cousin like my not like a distant relative like my blood Like my cousin cousin. I guess you would call it like a first generation cousin But anyway, she's on the way to pick me up. We're gonna go eat um, Definitely started the day super late 2 25 uh, p.m. Right now But yeah, well, uh, not sure where we're gonna eat yet, but I'll show you guys some videos as we're driving around town to the restaurant. Okay, spice I got it. My alone. Okay, guys, my cousin just picked me up. This is her, Bax. Her name is Bax, <laughs> and we are just driving around now and <clears throat> looking for somewhere to eat. Um, as I was sitting out front, as I was sitting out front. Just Watching people drive by. Seemed like a 
little bit quiet town. I'm not sure how big uh, Savannah Cat is. So I'm not sure how many districts there are. Alright guys, so we just rolled up on this restaurant here. I'm not sure of the name, but walking in looks pretty nice. Check it out. The name of this restaurant is called Dom Kam. But it's super nice. Look at this. Wow, this is a really nice restaurant. Well, I never seen a restaurant like this. This is pretty nice. We got these like little huts you can sit in. If you want to lounge on the like a little hammock thing over this little pond. Ah, that room looks like it's maybe some kind of VIP room or something. But there's some lights on this bridge. It looks like it must light up and you can walk in and go in there. Oh, you got a little fish on So, I ordered some uh, pork and vegetables and some white rice. I was actually craving some white rice. I haven't had white rice in a little bit. I usually eat sticky rice. But it's really, really good. And we ordered some, some thumb. Still on the way. They're making it right now. For those of you that don't, don't know what thumb is, it's basically like papaya salad, but you're gonna order it in different, different uh, styles. Like, you can order it with noodles, you can order it with papaya, you can order it with green beans. But it's coming right now. And you know what's so funny? They just rolled up on a bike, drop it off. <laughs> he just rolled on a, on a moped this way, over there, and drop off the, I'll drop off the food. Let's take a look. There it is. And that looks amazing right there. Spicy too. Let's see. Test it out, first bite. Make sure you get the pepper in there. It's gotta be spicy. Good though. Honestly, I could have had it more spicier. But it's actually good. Some meatballs. Vegetable. That was a nice, uh, nice little lunch dinner at that restaurant. Uh, now my cousin's taking me to this uh, very popular temple in uh, Savannah. Again, I don't know the name. Uh, she said it, but I forgot. But it's pretty nice. I guess, I guess it's a very, very, very popular temple. Like whenever people come here, they come and visit this temple 
or whenever they come and visit uh, visit Savannah Gate, they come and visit this temple. But I guess she, she said that it's very popular, like uh, like the that long stupa in Vientiane, and it's just a very popular uh, hotel. Uh, hotel, what did I say? Hotel. Uh, very popular temple. Very, very big temple. สนุกมาจากบ้านพ้นสว่างเหนือนครกระสอบพระนาสมฤทธิเขตมุตนาธานไหวปัจจัยเศร้าพันกีบคนมุตนาสาธุท่านมุตนาธานไหวปัจจั
Um, there's not really much to do around here as far as like tourism. And then that, as, uh, as far as tourism things like that, like, there's not a lot of, to do compared to like Van Vieng, Van Chun, um, and that sort. But it is, as we were driving around, I was like looking around, this place has a lot of potential to like be a booming tourism spot if there was just things to do. If there was just things to do, but uh, I don't know. I'm only here for two nights and then I go. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys the mall. But I guess that was really it. Just that part. I thought there was more in the back, but not really. But here's this again. I don't know, maybe there's a festival tonight or something. Me bun mama ni. Kan Let's go check out what kind of food they got. Some dim sum. Let's see they got a stage up here. So you guys can see a bunch of tables. We'll head over to somewhere else. Don't know where we're going yet. Again, surprise time. I don't mind. I like surprises. So see you guys soon. setting right now because the sun is going down. Looks like we have some gentlemen playing a game. But uh yeah as we were driving down to like the downtown area started seeing a lot more people from the area that I was staying, the area that I'm staying in is very, very quiet. Hello? <laughs> Hello? city and town, uh, downtown area, started picking up with more people and the vibe that I got is that it's, you think Vien Chun is laid back? I feel like over here is even way more laid back, super laid back and just chill. Everybody just seems to just be in chill mode. <laughs> but check this out, right across the way is Thailand. Here is, yes, you guessed it, the Mekong River. And there's something about Lao. The sunsets in Lao are so beautiful. I mean, look at this. And we're in the center of Lao. Obviously, you've seen the sunsets in the north of Lao, but now we're in the center. And still, beautiful. I don't know if you guys can see, but in the distance, way in the distance over there, about where my finger is, there's a big white Buddha statue. But I think that's Thailand. And then Thailand. Yeah, that's that's uh that's Thailand over there. But that that Buddha statue is over on the Thai side. Um, only if you guys can see this. I don't know if you guys can see it in the video. But this is uh oh straight ahead of me there. If you can see my finger, is a a nice restaurant with a lot of tables. Um, 
It looks like it'd be a nice cool spot to hang out, catch the sunset, watch the sun go down, have a couple of drinks with your friends. But yeah, as I was saying earlier, I feel like Savannah Gap could be a very cool touristy spot if there was things to do. But um, overall though, it seems like the people that live here and the the lifestyle is just chill mode, you know, which is cool actually. Chill mode and up where I mean where I am right now, there's a lot of people exercising, you know. Uh, but definitely a be beautiful city for sure, city or town. I don't know what you want to consider it. Um, and uh, seen a lot of as we started getting into downtown area, seen a lot of French. Uh, French influence, inf French influenced buildings. Um, I guess before there was a lot of when the French were here, they built a lot of buildings, you know, with French influence. But I seen this like big white dragon thing in front of me that I want to walk over to to show you guys. pretty cool I guess you can uh, you know pay your respects and pay alms over here to the statue it must be for you know respect for the Mekong River or something I can't read Lao so I don't really know but. all right on to the next spot so we're crossing the street now looks like uh, there's some kind of little mini night market across the street and like this I don't know what you would call this but fountain or something before but yeah there's a little market right here let's go see it right there. <clears throat> yeah this is directly across the street from the little strip Mekong there let's see what's going on What's up guys, we're back here, back down by the river um, at the restaurant that we were gonna come eat at tonight. I just met the rest of my cousins. Um, my cousin Bax, her younger brother and her older sister. Just met them for the first time tonight. But check it out. This is the restaurant we're going to, right on the river, right on the Mekong River. Oh, hey, my my cousin, my cousin Go. <laughs> this is my cousin here. Just met. Wow, this is a really nice restaurant. It's 
that sign is huge. We're gonna, we're gonna go sit upstairs. We're gonna go sit upstairs because it's a little bit loud down here. But right there, right there's the river. Yeah, this is awesome, man. This is cool. As you guys can see right here, it's too dark now, but this right here is the Mekong River. Right there is Thailand, where the, uh, this, this over here, there was the street that we were walking around, that we were walking around earlier. And now we are here for dinner. This is the upstairs roof. Check it out. This would definitely be a good, good little spot to eat for a uh, sunset. Sunset would be a good uh, spot to eat because the, the sunset was going down on my right here. Would have been a real nice spot to eat for sunset. But dinner time is actually not that bad either because right now it's uh, the temperature is perfect. Not too cold, not too hot. But uh, all right, let's uh, let's order some food. Alright, so some of our food came out. So you guys are really working with some chicken wings. Not sure what that is. I don't know what they call this in English. French fries for the kids. Seb, French fry. Seb. She speaks English. Seb, Seb, what's that? I'm kid. What's that? I'm kid. French fry. What's that allowed for onion? French fry. 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 French Frog legs, some chicken wings, french fries for the kids. Not sure what the other thing is. Rice, beer, beer lao. The pride and joy of lao, beer lao. 